I'll take you all on. Open your mouth. Oh. No. <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? How did that one grab me? What was that, Rich? He's hacking. <laughs> Look at the size. Hello, everyone. Ever heard of crowd control before? Well, if you have it, it's a fun way for the viewers to participate and interact with the game you are playing. And it doesn't matter, big or small streamer, anyone can use crowd control. It is absolutely free. If you want to try it for yourself, I'll have a link in the description. Okay, today I'm using crowd control with the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But not just any version, I'll be playing the PC port, Ship of Harkinian. And to spice things up a bit, all enemy spawns are randomized. Alright, it's now time to start our journey in good old Kokiri Forest. I mean, it's the start of the game. I'm sure I'll have an easy- OH MY GOD! <laughs> yeah, so even though we're at the start of the game, I already died once before entering the Great Deku Tree. Oh, I'm dead already, jeez! And I'll also be keeping a death counter as well. Once I finally entered the Great Deku Tree, I was greeted with, honestly, the most annoying enemy in the game. The fucking R-Wing from Star Fox. Like, I know why it's in the game, but did they really need to make it this annoying? Not only are they fast and they shoot those damn green beans at you, but they also can get stuck outside the room and shoot you through the walls. They're stuck in the wall, that's not fair! So yeah, it was time to progress through the dungeon and I really didn't want to deal with the R-Wing. Oh, I got shot from the freaking R-Wing, man. No slingshot makes it really hard, so I just ran away. A few moments later. You know, it was pretty hard to make progress in the first dungeon. You would think it would be because of crowd control. But that would be a big fat nope. It was because of the random enemies. Oh, why is he invisible? This is bullcrap! Oh wait, unless he does that attack, never mind. I lost my shield! I oh 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 everything's going downhill. Everything's going downhill. Uh, enable cheats. What? No! <laughs> It was time now, no more fooling around, we were getting through this dungeon no matter what. Uh, albeit, rather slowly, but we were making progress, making progress we were. A few inches later. Now it was time to overcome our first challenge, Goma. Quite literally, the easiest boss in the whole game can beat it in under 5 seconds, but with crowd control, that's not gonna be the case. And plus, I'm pretty bad at the game too, so yeah. Alright, Goma, let's do this. Wait, I'm a stick. I was a fool. Remember when I said I was bad at the game? Wait, I'm a stick. Yeah, that was what I meant. That didn't hit? <laughs> no, no! Wait, wait. No, that is. Oh my goodness, that is dumb. I just realized something. During this fight, she's, a, she's supposed to spawn in her babies, right? That means she randomizes her babies as well, and it just spawned in a dark <laughs> nut. She gave birth to this huge piece of metal. After showing how you shouldn't play this game, I finally I defeated Goma. Attack. That was embarrassing. To be real with you guys, I really didn't get that many effects. But going forward, <laughs> I'm gonna get plenty. We talked to the Great Deku Tree. We got the Kokiri Emerald. Great Deku Tree died. We left the forest. Got the Fairy Ocarina now. Ignore damn owl. Someone killed me. Showed my cock. Avoided a monster. Got sell this lullaby. Grabbed several cocks. Hey, yo. Got a bottle. Show the guard letter. Forgot to get sorry a song, went back to the forest. Made Goron dance. Cool jewelry. Money! Money! Speed run done. An hour and 30 minutes later, our brave hero Simp has arrived at the Dongo's cavern. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that our name is Simp for this playthrough? Is there a good reason for it? No, there isn't. I just decided to call him Simp for no reason. You wanna know the great thing about entering a new dungeon? Is that people are more likely to do effects once you enter. It's like they know that you can't leave, so they wanna trap nope. you and spam effects over and over again. I mean, I just got here and there's already a cuckoo swarm. But I mean, they're not so. Oh my god! Wait, no, I'm a pro at this. I'm a pro at this. Look at me go, look at his movements. You can't catch me. The worst part about the Cuckoo Swarm is, if you're in a room, you can get trapped with them. And I already know people are gonna abuse that. Oh no, Oh, Smart tactic, I can't leave this room. And even with 10 hearts, it's still costing me a life. 
Damn it, I died. Like I said, I'm not good at the game. Yet again, I found myself trapped in a room with a bunch of cuckoos. Luckily, I was able to get out. And going forward, I didn't have any issues. Did I say I had no issues? <laughs> I lied. I'm big. Oh no, you made... I'm dead. He froze me midair. I'm dead. <laughs> it was now time for our second boss. King the Dango. Now, if I was struggling with Goma, imagine this one. Oh no. Yeah, the Cuckoo Swarm was a huge problem. Oh. No. Coco Punch! Wait, no! Wait, this is my chance! Please! I missed it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes. I, uh, not again. Who would have guessed waiting for Big Mouth over here to open up? And Cuckoos is a horrible combination. I also died two times. Oh, I know it. Time for the most butt clenching experience in any Zelda game. All I need is one hit. I'm a quarter heart, cuckoos everywhere. Just looking in my direction could kill me. So I jumped. Of course I got him. Please! Please! Wait, he's dead. I did it! Ah, did you think I was gonna choke it or something? There's no way I would have done that. But I gotta say, that was some amazing defense from that cuckoo right there. He really about to rock my shit. I forgot to mention this, but I failed to get the heart container the first time. Uh, 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 no! No! <laughs> I tried to dodge him! <laughs> no! I gotta go all the way back from that stupid heart container, man. After returning back from my heart container, I got the Grand Ruby and went off to do some other stuff until I was ready for Zora's domain. And now we've arrived at Jabu Jabu, and we are off to a great start. I've been in here for less than five seconds already, and I got three effects going through. Oh, I went far. And I don't waste any time to meet the fish princess. Ah, it's gonna suck me! <laughs> uh, oh wait, I was saved from the cutscene. Who am I? Well, I'm the one and only, Sim. Yep, the hero who's gonna get bullied real badly right now. I'm out of here. I got shocked. Oh, 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 I'm getting knocked around. How many shots? Oh, no, no, reverse control. No. <laughs> After I finally made it back up and grabbed the princess, I got jumped in a mosh pit no. of stalfos. That's something I never thought I'd say before. Uh -huh. <laughs> Props to Flash. That was pretty smart. Oh, I wait. I have iron boots. I forgot. <laughs> No! No escape. I'm gonna die in one second. I'm gonna die in one second. I have iron boots. Damn. I drowned. Alright, alright. We got the boomerang. No more fooling around. We're gonna make some pro. Dead. I'm sure you know this already, but in Ocarina of Time, there are a few rooms where you can actually get trapped inside. Nope. And the only way for you to exit rooms is if you defeat all the enemies inside. And the great thing about crowd control is that people can spawn in more enemies! And the room requires you to defeat all enemies inside, which is the best thing ever! So if someone decides to spawn in 20 Dark Links, oh no. you're trapped until you defeat them all! And that's exactly what happened here. Oh no, Dark Links. Wait, do I need to kill them now since they're new enemies? Oh, it's over. I'm dead. Monster. But luckily, I only died once after that. I'm surrounded by enemies. After getting rid of the weird fish chick, it was time for a mini boss. We got lucky for this fight, and the only issue that I had was just pacifist mode. That and my own skill, because I've said this a few times already. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> oh my god, no way, that just happened. After defeating the mini boss finally, I just okay. went straight for it. I yeah. ran through everything. I was going straight to the boss room. I didn't have no problem acting like a coward and avoiding everything. <laughs> and we are off to a great start. Three effects going through already, man. Out of all the three bosses for Child Link, this was definitely the hardest oh, one. Oh, just right. kept on going crazy with effects. I mean, just look at all this stuff right now. I quickly began to struggle. I was doing some damage, but it wasn't enough. There was just oh, way too many enemies in the way, and I just didn't have enough health. Why are you bullying me? The biggest problem here was just the extra enemies. 
I knew if I wanted to defeat this boss that I had to deal with the little ones first. So I had a plan. And it was to use the boomerang and run away. At this point, I had already ran out of pots. I knew if I wanted to survive this, I wanted to defeat these enemies and hope, pray that he dropped health. Even though I was able to get some health back, I had a big issue. Iron boots were slowing me down. I had no other choice. I had a side hop like my life depended on it. Well, I mean, my life did depend on it. But by some miracle, I was able to pull it off and defeat Baronade. And I did this without dying too. Jeez, I mean, you sent through so many effects at the end right now. What do you want? Leave me alone. Moving on. We got the Sword of Sapphire. Got bullied by a big green man. And got ourselves a new upgrade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I decided to make this into two parts because it was getting pretty long. Oh, knock me down. No, I'm being bullied right now. No, let me in. <laughs> Wait, I barely made it. Bro, reverse controls. The chaos only gets better from here. And don't forget, if you're a small streamer or someone interested in streaming, I'll have a link for you guys so you can join their Discord and try it out for yourself. You won't regret it. Or maybe you will, who knows? I definitely do sometimes. Alright, bye guys.